Go and read my comic, it's free! Hey guys, Yugi here, or Cha Chan, same person. Today's video we have an unboxing of a Hatsune Miku figure! My boyfriend actually surprised me with this figure. We were in Newcastle in Forbidden Planet and I ran off to go and look at the things and I turned around and he had vanished. <laughs> and then after a few minutes he came back and he was like, Oh, you really wanted that Miku, didn't you? I was like, yeah, but like, I'm not gonna buy it today. And then he just like handed me a bag and here she was. <laughs> so thank you, Bryden. All right, little backstory done. Let's unbox her. Here she is. This is a Sega prize figure of the Hatsune Miku Pioretta version, if I'm pronouncing Pioretta cor correctly. <laughs> Sega prize figures are, well, usually really good quality. I haven't obviously opened this yet, so we'll see how this turned out. This is a re-release of the figure. Um, I've seen her online a lot and I've always been so tempted, but I never got around to picking her up. <laughs> so Bryden surprised me with her. So let's open her. Oh, there's more tape than I realised. <laughs> well, they've even printed on the inside of the little tabs there. Interesting. So, uh, there's no blister pack since it is a prize figure. It's just all in this cardboard bit. Though I have had prize figures that have... Um, I have had prize figures come in a blister before, but... Uh, doesn't really matter to me to be honest as long as it's all all there <laughs> So here is the base. I really like that actually the checky black and white squares Where's the... I should probably use some scissors rather than a scalpel Honestly nicer than some of the scale figure bases I see <laughs> So there's all the copyright info on the bottom of that Cool Assembly shouldn't be too difficult for this figure. I mean, it's kind of slotted together. The skirt it is its own piece as well. That wasn't a very good job, was it? Quite hefty. And Miku's upper torso. This plastic doesn't rip very easily. So, to put her together, which way around does this skirt go? Let's see if I can figure it out. This is the back. Okay, skirt goes on like that. Miku should slot on like, ooh, like this. Maybe a bit of a tight fit. Come on, I think we're in. Maybe a bit, a bit more to go. Okay, we're in. Now I'm gonna do B-roll and stuff, but uh, first impressions, as usual, Sega figures, really nice. Obviously no shading because it is just a prize figure, but Sega's quality on their prize figures is always really good, I find. Like, yes, the plastic quality isn't uh, you know, scale figure quality or anything, but the figures, they're big, uh, you could display them alongside most scale figures like one seventh, and they wouldn't look too out of place, in my opinion at least. <laughs> the paint job is nice and clean. These uh, little bits on her hood, bit hat, hood, hat hood, are nice and flexible, so you're not going to break them too easily. Same goes for her little um, wrist bits. I think they, these are a bit too bent. I need to hair dryer trick those back into shape. <laughs> anyway, let's get her on the base. If I had to say one thing, this figure looks like she will lean. I think she's going to start going this way in <laughs> probably a few months. Um, but you know, nothing a hair dryer can't fix. Maybe even a second support rod. Got tongue tied. A second support rod under her knee would have been a good idea. Um, Obviously, you know, not everyone likes the look of support rods like that, but it might be a good idea in future. Uh, but yes, I really like her. She's really cute. Uh, 
I've wanted this figure for a long time, as I think I said earlier, and Bryden surprised me with this, so thank you, Bryden! <laughs> Alright, enough uh, rambling. Let's do some B-roll and I'll tell you things about- Is this a review? It should be a review. Let's do a review. I am so happy to finally have this Miku. I mean, she fits in so well with my collection, just her aesthetic, her colour palette, and her little pose is so cute. I have a lot of figures that are just kind of standing there. <laughs> I do quite like just simple poses, that's what I like in a figure, but it is nice to have one that's a little bit more dynamic, though I do think this figure is going to lean. Um, aside from the potential leaning issue, you will maybe notice you, if you get this figure, the little cross stitching details on the front of her red jacket corset dress thing, those are a little bit faded out compared to what they're supposed to be. And also on my particular figure, the uh, pink teardrop on her cheek is printed really far to the side and down, whereas it's more supposed to be directly under her eye on the front of her face, so <laughs> you can't always see that detail from all angles, so I might maybe wipe it off with some acetone and paint it on there myself. We will see, I probably won't to be honest. <laughs> Anyway, aside from that, I really love her. I mean, she's just so cute, and as I said, she fits in so well with my collection. And uh, I'm kind of running out of things to say, to be honest. Would I recommend her? Yeah, I mean, she's definitely worth it if you like the design. Um, I've run out of things to say now. Sorry if I sound a little bit stuffy, I do have a cold and a slightly blocked nose. <laughs> Alright, I think that's everything I had to say. I like the figure. I would recommend the figure to Hatsune Miku fans. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Please do not hit the like button as that probably hurts. It's not very nice. So maybe shake his hand instead. With that being said, I hope to see you in the next one and bye!